Hello YouTube, and yes, it's me again, Destination Lego, also known as Dave. Um, and yes, I'm here by myself, my little helper is not here um, with me at the moment. Um, obviously I'm talking about Ethan, so he's out with his mother um, presently, but I just wanted to do this quick vlog. So this is vlog number two, um, and you can see behind me probably some of the things I've been working on um, recently. Um, in the background there, still got lots and lots more to um, build and review for you guys and also behind me there I've started to use some of those minifigure display cabinets and just on that point actually, so you can get a better look at them there you see there's probably lots of gaps there um, I do actually have all um, the collectible minifigures um, throughout all the series to date up until including obviously Lego Simpsons um, what I'm trying to do at the moment is uh, build that complete set again, but this time display them in those cabinets. So, as I'm a sad collector, um, what I tend to do is um, collect them and I put them in zip bags and then I put them in a box. And a lot of people ask, well, why would you do that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> is the reason to that? It's just a bit of a collecting thing, I guess. But I thought, you know what? I want to display them, but I didn't want to use those ones. So, got those display um, cases up there and are now starting to obviously collect the whole series again through from obviously one up until the Simpsons and then series 12 um, when that comes out. Um, so anyway that's that. Um, also just um, I don't know really wanted to mention a couple of things really. One um, I went to the Lego store on um, Saturday just gone so my local Lego store which is Blue Water in the UK got talking to the guy behind um, the counter there, it tends to be the one that I normally see when I go in there, I am quite a regular customer, um, and I asked him about the Slave 1, um, Lego Star Wars UCS Slave 1, I asked him when it was coming out, so he's told me now that it's not coming out this year, um, and the reason for that he said that um, because Lego Star Wars has, has been so popular um, this year, which surprises me because I guess it's always popular, but Sounds like it's been even more popular this year and they've decided to not release the Slave one this year so they're going to release it next year and he says so they'll probably end up releasing the three Star Wars UCS sets next year which doesn't make a lot of sense to me um, but anyway um, that's what he's uh, telling me. It also said about and I think most people know about this now but the um, Batman Tumblr, um, Tumblr vehicle UCS version of that that's going to be coming out um, soon. Um, definitely looking forward to that I'm going to be getting that one. Um, and you would have probably seen as well in, I haven't got it by me at the moment, the latest Lego magazine. A number of new Technic sets coming out, so I will probably be getting some of those as well. Um, because I do like some of the Technic sets um, as well. In particular, I'm just going to swing this around for you actually, so just bear with me. My favourite Technic set, I'm going to try, bear with me please. And show you, there you go. Up on one of my shelving units up there, you can see the mobile crane Mark II unit. Uh, what set is that? 42009? Yeah, 42009. Awesome set that's had by far the most views on my channel, over 100,000 views on that. So if you haven't seen that video, uh, go ahead and have a look at it, and I will put a link down in the description to this vehicle, uh, this vehicle, <laughs> this video. You can see, you probably can't actually because there's a high shelf. I've got other sets up there as well. So I guess the other bit of news that I wanted to share was I have opened up a Bricklink store now, and it is very small. Although I've got a huge Lego collection, it's going to take me a long time to um, one decide what I can bear to part with and put into the um, Bricklink store. Um, and two for the sets that I decide to part out is having the time to part them out because I am um, very busy with busy with both work and obviously a young family. Um, most of you have seen my boy Ethan, but I've also got a two and a half year old son who featured very very briefly in my sealed Lego collection video. Um, and if you haven't taken a look at that one again, I'm gonna put that one down in the description of this. Hopefully, if I remember, um, that showed all my sealed. Um, Lego sets, um, so my collection um, up until that point in time, so I recorded that uh, a week or so ago now, but that's been uploaded. Um, it's had quite a few views on it and obviously a varied response with regards to why have you got these sets, why would you do this, why would you do that. Um, and to be honest, I just collect more stroke. I've got a kind of a, except that I'm a bit of a hoarder, so I hoard them. Um, but then it's coming back to the reality that I'm running out of space, but I'm still buying sets. So I need to start parting with certainly lots of the multiple sets um, that I've accumulated over the last few years. 
Okay, so only the final thing I wanted to say, well, final two things really, is first of all, thanks to all you guys and indeed the LEGO community. It's a fantastic community here on um, YouTube, but to all my viewers, um, I um, appreciate your support and hopefully I'm bringing you the kind of contact that you want from a LEGO point of view. If I'm not, let me know. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you think I can be doing differently. Obviously, if I have any ideas of doing different things, then uh, I will... Um, share those ideas with you guys and obviously see how it goes um, from that point of view. Uh, finally, I guess the uh, final thing I wanted to mention was uh, giveaways. I've done some giveaways um, before in my time, not for quite a while now, but I do want to do another giveaway soon. I might do it when I get to 4,000 subscribers. I think I'm on about, I'll have a quick look, 3,665. Um, at the point in recording this video, so it'll probably going to take me another two, three, maybe four weeks to get to 4,000. We'll have to um, wait and see, but I'll probably do it then. And just as a heads up, um, I think what I would do my next um, LEGO giveaway will be based on fans. So for those of you who know, when you get to 1,000 subscribers, you get information on what's called your fans and basically it's the people that are most engaged with your channel so what I want to do is kind of say thank you to those people so I will come up with something for certainly the top um, fan maybe the top three um, but I'm not actually going to commit to that I have to wait and um, see but yeah that's what I plan to do so that's kind of a bit of a heads up for you guys um, anyway so that's it for this vlog um, yeah that's pretty much it I can't think of anything else to share I'm obviously still recording still doing lots of Lego um, content um, for you anyway hopefully see you soon cheers